up everybody? In today's video, I take off, leave the boys, Rue and Ammon, behind. I hit up Nate with Flog Industries and I say, hey brother, what's you up to this weekend? Why don't you show me what's really happening? And he's like, for sure, I got you. Next thing you know, I found myself on the way to Randy's Transmission Dino and Sled Pull event up near Tooele, Utah. I've been to smaller events, but this one was a medium, a medium event, and it was pretty tight. Lots of horsepower. Horsepower. Do you understand horsepower? Boom. What's up, baby? Sitting up here at the vlog booth. Getting ready to go test the dyno, watch some dyno, dig up some dynos. get there, start walking around, talking to some guys, meeting the diesel heads that are around here. I mean, we're talking some real, some real down and dirty, deviant, diesel demon type dudes. You know what I'm saying? I mean, they got motors with three effing turbos, right? A triple turb ski. Double turb skis are just like throwaways. Oh yeah, that truck has a double? Who gives a rat's nut? I start talking to one guy. He tells me this one truck, three triple turbski, they're shooting for over 3,000 horsepower on this bad boy. A thousand horsepower per turbo. <laughs> I told that to Nate and he was like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I don't know, but that's what the kids uh, said. It's, it's possible. Like, if, they, if, if he gets over 3K with it, I'll be. There was one particular dyno pull where the, the truck driver, after he did this, you know, pretty dope sounding pull where he got like almost 2,000 horsepower, he was pumped up, you know, fist out the window, fuck yeah, woo! <laughs> 1925. 1925 horsepower. You know, it just reminded me of, you know, these are these are men who, as kids, probably dreamed of being trucks. You know, themselves. Like I remember when me and Nate were kids in grade school, like going around acting as though we were driving these diesel trucks. You know, sitting back in our truck, woo, 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 shifting the shit. Woo, woo, making the turbo noises and it's just like yeah this is definitely the this is definitely the shit right here <laughs> Like, so after meeting a few of these guys, I'm starting to really get the hang. I'm starting to understand exactly how seriously these boys take this here sport. They spend hundreds of thousands of dollars on one truck. Which reminds me, the way that Ammon sums up the whole dyno pool event is pretty funny. Yo Am, how would you summarize the dynos? 
like pickup dinos? Yeah, the pickup dinos. Like, Those ones I showed you. <laughs> Horsepower. This guy actually has his own uh, YouTube channel called Western Diesels. He does a whole video on his rebuilding this truck, doing a pull, coming to this same event that I did. That's kind of dope if you want to check it out. The link will be in the description. Next is Lacey Blair's truck. We'll let Nate tell you about that one. I'll tell you a little bit about this truck. This is Lacey Blair's truck, if you know her, LB Motorsports. This is a 2011 to 14 model Silverado. She's turned it into a race truck. She's got JTX forged wheels, which is a brand that her and Zach use a lot of, sell a lot of, paint a lot of um, in their shop. Um, BBC, BCC, which stands for Brighton, Creek Customs. Compound just, turbo setup. I heard it class. It's got Super dual CP3s. I'm going to guess they're a 14 millimeter stroke CP3 pump. Massive intercooler. Can't wait to see what this thing will do on the dyno. Lacey Blair, 849 on her second run. Then they finally brought out the super trucks, the ones that are like top of the top. And with this red one, they were going for the world record. It was over 3,000 horsepower. horsepower. As you can see, they blew an oil line. That's what all the white smoke is coming out of the hood. And they, they were unable to beat the world record at this event. <laughs> yeah, baby! 2017. And then by now, it's like four or five in the afternoon, starting to get into the evening, and they start setting up the sled poles and get ready to throw it clean up the shit and call it a day. It was fun, it was a good time. Nine out of 10, would recommend. <laughs> I'm just kidding, it's a 10 out of 10. Especially if you're with the Flog crew. Thanks, Nate. <laughs>